All I have to say is sorrow, sorrows, prayers. <laughs> Baby, your time is up. And this really makes me think what your father say, is it true or not? Because he said he shelter you. And the way you move in is like a scared puppy. It don't look like you got experience in this. But this also makes me wonder what Tommy, did you always know, which is why you brought him around when you was talking about the whole snitch situation? Or did he really get one under you? But testing the phones was a great way to figure out who the person was. Now, when it comes to him and his PO, I think he did a great job and how he tried to navigate that with his brother, but they are not about to let that go. But the fact that he was out for um, early parole and now that he's off parole, I think he might be in the clear, but you never know. Now, is it just me or I feel like he shouldn't be crying about his son being mad at him about shipping him off to a camp because he needed that? Clearly, as we've all seen, he don't know when to sit down, his son. His son is always popping up into something. So I feel like moving him somewhere else was a good idea. So I don't understand why he's crying about it. But I do get when he say, I want you to be there as a father for me. So I do think he needs to show up more. But part of that was also taking him to that camp since you don't know how to act. Now, with her, I feel like she's starting to think more emotional and not logical. Because why would you ask your boyfriend to take his brother out? No matter what, they're still brothers. And the fact that she looked crazy when a boyfriend asked her, well, maybe we can just take Tommy and not the brother. You automatically seen a divide there. Now, one move I think she's making that's really good is the move with Vic's sister. I think that's a smart move because she really don't see it coming and she thinks she got all the power and she don't. Now, when it comes to the one in the red, I don't know. She's giving, I want your job and eventually I want to take over. And you know you got to depend on me because I put money in this. I don't know. It could just be me. Last but not least. Not only is she going to get Vic on the live, she's going to get herself on the live. Like, as he said, this job is changing her. And when you get too emotional attached, you tend to miss key points. Like other cities, like New York, <laughs> she is so obsessed with taking Tommy Egan down. But you got to know, Tommy Egan has done this before. So you got to come a little harder than trying to find the inside, man. All I got to say is the producers were producing this season and we got one more episode and then the girl rock is coming back. All right, y'all. See y'all next week.